Driving but... a convertible is the stupidest fucking thing in the world. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah. E92 uh, M3 I, listen, convertible. E92. E92. All right. Get, get, <laughs> this one is a convertible. Like E92s, I feel like are kind of slept on, right? How can you I like the, the E92. I, yeah. I think the E92 would make a sick daily driver right Absolutely. now. Absolutely. But not in this form. No. Not in this form at all. 135, 335. Absolutely. I like their wheels. I Those think they have really cool. nice stock wheels. These look like Conestoga wagon wheels to me. This is not my favorite BMW wheel. But it's not bad, I guess. I like not, it. Not, not to just shit all over it, I guess. I don't care for it. This would not be my first choice for anything. <sighs> I, no, like, it's still like an oh. M3, but... 69. Oh, hey, okay. nice. Hey. Like, it's still an M3, but yeah, like this, the Vert. No. Verts in four-seat mode especially look bad. Yes. But it's not good. I'm retarded. Driving but, a convertible is the stupidest fucking thing in the world. Kill yourself. Oh, hold on now. Those are some <laughs> strong words. Yeah, those it's are extremely loud. strong words. Fuck it's you. Loud? Oh it's no. Windy? Oh, your, man. Hair, oh, no. your hair gets in your eye and it whips your eye. <laughs> you pussy. <laughs> Jokes on you, feed his ball. You can't you can't listen to the radio. Cut your hair. What? The Wear fucking a hat. It's hot. Use the AC. There's and a million true. answers to all of this shit. No, and, so and everyone looks says, at you. Not a big deal. Just have the confidence to drive the car. Who gives a shit? Your hair gets in your eyes. Is it your... whips your eye. Your hair. Whip your hair eye tie up your fucking man bun and it's drive the car, <laughs> dude. <laughs> hold up, hold up. Let's let's, let's change the, the the topic here. I just don't so like we have we have this as a personal preference. This thing that is much better as a hard top than yeah. as the convertible. Yes. Can you think of any examples where the convertible is better than the hard top? Oh, Ooh, that's a good um. <laughs> No. No. <laughs> yeah. See. <laughs> Just flat out. No. Okay, but but okay. So that's the thing. If it's a car that was built as a hardtop and then they made a conversion of it that is a convertible, like this, or like the 350Z, that's bad. But if it's a car that was built to be a convertible first, like I don't know, the MR2 Spider or a Porsche Boxster or a Miata, those are great. The closest you can get to a convertible being better and I'm, I'm not even gonna say better i would say can stand on, on the same ground as the hardtop version is the second generation corvette omitting the 1963 model so 64 to 67 corvette that's way too boomer for me i don't even know <laughs> those do look pretty cool but fuck you for what you said about convertibles. <laughs> they're, they're stupid. <laughs> they are not objectively Mom. bad. Just, if you are afraid to drive one, you are either insecure or so concerned about your hair that I, I don't even know how to address this. It's ridiculous. It's loud. And then your hair is all messed up. It's okay. So your cons are my positives. The engine's loud. Awesome. There's a ton of road noise and wind noise. Awesome. Like That's I don't understand good. what's so bad about this. That makes it more fun to drive. It doesn't. It makes it more of an experience. I agree that if it's a purpose-built convertible, it's way, way, way superior to this. I wish that we weren't having this conversation with this pile of <laughs> shit on the screen. You should pull up that sick bad auction of a red MR2 spider. Find <laughs> the uh, the Boxster that had the uh, the hard top on it, because that looked like ass. The, yeah. A anytime where somebody tries to convert their convertible back to the hard top version, that's not a good look. It's like always obvious too. Yeah, with that. So this is like a thing. yeah, yeah, yeah. The 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 fastback thing. Yeah, yeah. This is not a bad retractable hard top. Like yeah, that doesn't look bad. But it's still not nearly as good as. And and it's also like heavy as shit. I'm sure. I would. So if I had to say I had to pick one, I'd probably say like the G37 or whatever the fuck they call them now. Uh, mm -hmm. Pulled off the hard top the, reasonably the Q60, well. Q60, I think, or Q50. Q something. Yeah, I think they pulled off the hard top reasonably well. Those look pretty good, yeah. Also, um, the Volvo C30 retractable hard top does not look that bad. Like, I don't... But the, the coupe version always looks better, though. 
like I yeah, like I don't have any like grudges against hard tops. Like personally, I or uh, against convertibles. Like personally, I just don't like them. But like, you know, it's all right. Like th there are some things that look better as a hard top, and like there are some things like the uh, Murano cross cab that just you know <laughs> don't look great at all. No, it's that's a nightmare of a car or the yeah, PT yeah. Cruiser convertible. The Cruiser convertible, oh. yeah, like that. Uh, obviously, it has its place, right? Like, I definitely think, like the Boxer just wouldn't look the same as a hard top, but like, I will say the wind complaint, totally valid in the back seat of a four seater. Yeah, like even flux. in the front Miserable. seat, man. Uh, g good aerodynamic design will. No, you you. you your fucking ears are ringing by the time you get to work. Oh of the wind shit! I, I drove that thing for a year. I had no or well, not eight months. I had a great time, and I never had any issue like that whatsoever. Here, how tall are you? I'm <laughs> short as fuck. <laughs> I'm six one. I and I had a fucking NC Miata, and I never had an issue with wind noise driving to and from work. I drove that bitch all over the East Coast. I, I feel like you've just had bad experiences with whatever convertibles no, you've been in. No, and you know what else is you? What else is stupid? Is in the movies, they always like, oh, going on a road trip. Yeah, in the convertible. And they're like, <laughs> that's all true. fucking with their hands up and shit, having the time of their life. Could you imagine driving six fucking hours in a convertible? I've done it. You'd be it having the time suck. of your life, though. Fuck that. <laughs> if you're in the back seat. If you're in the back seat, it fucking sucks. Yes. Yeah, but like, all right, so a four seater BMW convertible like this, like, what's your target demographic here? Rich white girls going to high school? Yeah. High school white girls and like uh, people going to go to wine country. Oh, like, yeah. We haven't said shit about this one particular car. We're just shitting on all convertibles. <laughs> I mean, look at it. Who gives a shit about this yeah, car? Like, all right, yeah. It's got the wrong transmission. Just close it. Let's, what's next? Oh, it's an auto. Everything is wrong with it. Like, it was, it was fucking purchased by an idiot. I guess we can agree that Netgear doesn't like to have fun. Collector Car Feed. Now with over 502 subscribers. 